Karen, the, the next wave of Burger Books is, uh, releases is going to feature uh, one, one book uh, titled She Could Fly. Tell me about it and the creator behind the book. I'm really excited about She Could Fly. It's a new series by Christopher Cantwell. Um, and Christopher, for people who know one of the best series that has been on TV in the past few years, he's the co-creator of Halt and Catch Fire, um, which was on, on AMC, and it just ended an acclaimed four-year run. And Christopher is a huge comics fan. I think one of his first jobs was working in the Marvel Film Library and wow. uh, always wanted to write comics. And there are comics fans everywhere. That's one thing that I find, which is terrific, that there are comics fans in, in every field. And that's been a, a great thing about trying to bring new writers to comics from other fields mm -hmm. is that that people you know have seen what has been happening in comics the growth of comics being a bit more literary and edgy mm -hmm. and and psychological and 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 more writers from different fields want to take a crack at it and that's essentially happened with Christopher and um, she could fly is about a uh, disturbed teenage girl who uh, has a lot of mental issues and a nurturing but kind of kooky family. And she is obsessed with this flying woman who appears in the sky. No one knows who she is, where she comes from. And all of a sudden she might be walking down the street and everyone look up and there's, there's this woman flying and then she disappears and nobody knows where she will go. Well, uh, this, is a, this is not a surprise, but early in the first issue, she, the, the woman, um, the flying woman, uh, crashes and is dead. And it's, it sets our protagonist into a tailspin. And how is she going to go on with life if she doesn't have this woman to identify with? Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, she ha there is another story that's going on about a secret government agent who has also been tracking this flying woman. So you have these parallel stories that are happening. And because Christopher is such an amazing writer, and he made the segue from, from television to comics just in a heartbeat, it was like... It was like, was, it was like he was writing comic. No, it was not. It was like the pacing, the juggling, the storylines was is just you know perfect. And his ear for dialogue is is phenomenal, and his characterization is 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 is, is, is wonderful. So I, um, it, it's just it's a really really great series. You know, it explores again I, as I was saying before. I I love stories that have a different layer. I love, I always want to know from writers, okay, what are the themes, you know? So this is, you know, themes about you know, obsession and identity, a flight of, of trying to escape, but, but also trying to, to fly away to better things. So it's a, a really powerful, beautifully written, and beautifully drawn story. It's drawn by really talented artist Martin Morazzo, who has had a few things published. Most recently, he's drawing a comic out um, from Image now called Ice Cream Man, written by uh, uh, Will Maxwell Prince, which is a really quirky, disturbing, lovely little series. <laughs> so really happy to have Martin on that. And, uh, and really excited. I think that's going to surprise a lot of people to have uh, Christopher Cantwell writing, uh, writing a comic series. So I'm really excited about that. And I've got a bunch of more stuff coming out later in the year as well. Well, we'll be bothering you about those in, in the future. I hope you do. I hope you do.